the uh, next part that we are going to cover are kind of setting up a tackle box for each spe specific uh, lake. So let's go, let's check out the different lakes that we have. Uh, we have the observatory, uh, which we'll start here. They have a mix of everything, uh, carp, brim, and tench, uh, no catfish there. Uh, as you can see, the l largest fish is 24 pounds, 15 ounces. Um, so with that, when you're looking at hook size, mostly anywhere from size 12 up to size 6. I probably wouldn't bring a size 4 along here. Um, really isn't anything that you would need it for. Um, now, size 12 and size 10 are basically going to catch you the tench. Uh, I think 10 through 8 uh, is going to catch you brim. I'm sorry, 10 and 12 for roach. Uh, the tench are 10 and 8, uh, brim are 10 through 8, sometimes a size 6, uh, there's some big brim, and uh, carp are anywhere from I believe size 10, 10 up to 4, uh, just not on this lake, so, you know, 10 to 6, uh, if you're targeting something specific there. Uh, now for baits for this lake, what you really want to try and do, uh, chances are you might be just starting out when you get here, so you're going to have to go with what you have. Uh, luckily, the lake does provide, you know, all three bed types and regular abundance. Uh, a few less weed. Well, actually, there's probably more weeds here than most places. Um, I generally like to either just bring silt or gravel here. Uh, the gravel patches are very good. Uh, spots for fish along with the silt um, so that's what I mainly target I try not to mix it up too much I like to bring uh, two different sizes of uh, each each type so with here like I said the bait types if you want carp I would more you know try and put some boilies in there or uh, large double sweet corn is always a killer <laughs> you know I can't stress that enough you know if you're if you're just looking for <coughs> tench or roach or something like that you know bread flakes even the even the sweet corns will do very well so that's good for the observatory let's check next with uh, Larian uh, this the biggest fish here is only 15 pounds so basically, anything over a size 8 hook is probably a waste. Uh, it's a little bit too big. Most of the fish, you know, bigger carp seem to be in the uh, 10 to 12 pound. You know, that's your bigger end. Um, what you can do here, there's a lot of uh, silt and gravel again in the middle. Uh, there's some weeds. I'm sorry, there are weeds out by the the uh, island in the middle. I haven't really fished him. I didn't really see much of a point. It's not a huge weed bed. Um, baits here. Now if there are brim, tench, and roach along with the carp here. So if you want to try and weed out those uh, other nuisance fish and just go for carp, I would try and take some of the boilies. Uh, they are your better bet. Uh, fish with a little larger hook, you know, size 8. Uh, you still catch brim and tench with it. You won't catch any roach with it, which is nice uh, for the most part, as long as your bait is big enough. Um, this is a bit of a tougher one. It's, it's easy to catch fish here, but not always easy to catch what you want. So you really want to try and get more uh, carp-specific sp baits, uh, you know, with the boilies. And uh, I believe that tiger nuts at 15 millimeter are probably a little bit too big, but you can always give it a shot. Uh, that's something that the carp like that the other ones aren't real interested in, uh, which is very good. Uh, again, large double sweet corn. I won't even mention that anymore. It's just a good all around bait. Uh, so now we're going to check Digger Lake. Okay. Now this one here is carp only, 
which is outstanding because you don't have to worry about anything else. You can just target carp uh, with your setup here. Now these go up to 36 pounds. Um, I probably would still only bring a size 6 hook here um, at most. I probably would go with an 8 uh, in general. Again, there's all three bed types here in plenty of ab abundance. Uh, so really kind of think of where you want to fish and how you want to fish. Uh, I prefer to stick to the more open areas here. Uh, it's a little easier to pull them in. If you want, now I had recommended just bringing two different uh, size hooks. You know, like say a six and an eight of gravel and a six and an eight of silt. Now, if you want to do that and still fish all bed types, what you can do, and it's very important because it works very well, is say you throw into the lily pad patches and, and this weeds. Uh, now, you didn't bring a weed hook with you, but that's okay. Just slowly reel it out of the weeds till it sits right on the edge. I find that's good for getting the fish that are in the weeds along with, along with the silt as well. Uh, put your bait on the right bed type, uh, bait and hook on the right bed type, but still gives you uh, plenty of other options to go with. Um, you can still catch fish that are hiding out in those weeds. So let's go check our next lake. We got two left here. We got St. John's. Now St. John's has everything. Uh, brim, tench, roach, carp, and catfish. And they've got plenty of big fish as well. You know, you can see lake record is 93 pounds. That is a catfish. So, what you want to do here for setting up, um, there are some decent weed spots here. Again, I would probably stick with, you know, the silt and gravel types. Um, kind of cast around if you're not familiar with it to find out where where the spots are. Um, I've had good success on b both the silt and the gravel here. Um, bigger hooks, you can bring a size 4 hook here, um, which is good uh, if you're targeting larger fish or, or boss fish. Uh, there are some quite large uh, non-boss carp over 30 some pounds. So you can, you can really, you know, bring home some big fish here. Uh, just remember when you come here just like everywhere else you want to make sure you get bait that's the proper size for the hooks proper presentation and size uh, if you're going for catfish i always like the uh, iq rig and the uh, dumbbell i think that works most times now again for the boss fish however you want to check that profile and check that log out and see what they like. Uh, you can try and target a sp specific fish. Uh, if you kind of read through it, they'll tell you what they like. And uh, it does work trying to target them. I have done it uh, successfully, thankfully. And uh, we'll get things going um, if you do that. You know, you just have to have a little patience with it. Uh, but eventually you'll get what you're looking for. Uh, sometimes multiple fish do like the same thing. So you might not get the exact one you're looking for, but you know, you'll get close. Like I said, everything's here. You can throw out anything from a size 12 to a size 4 here and catch fish. Uh, it's great. <laughs> great that way. It's good fun. Um, so don't be afraid, you can use this kind of to try things out as well. Uh, like I said, there are lots of fish here. And same thing, we'll go to our last one here, which is Presa del Monte Bravo. Um, and the largest here is a 100 pound catfish. Uh, they're brim, tench, roach, carp, and catfish here as well. Um, roach, I mean, you probably don't want to come here with a size 12 or size 10 hook. For here, I probably wouldn't go anything less than an 8, um, just because most of the fish are a lot bigger here. Uh, everything is bigger here, including the tench, there's like 10 or 12 pound tench. So, you know, with that in mind, kind of tailor this to your 
big fish in Lake St. John's you can do that as well but you can also catch a lot of smalls here you're probably gonna be pretty disappointed if you go out with uh, size 12 or size 10 hook uh, catching roach here is sort of a disappointment <laughs> just because when you know there's a hundred pound monster lurking here it's uh, you know disappointing um, like I said the IQ IQD with the dumbbell is good for catfish. I find uh, gravel spots are really good uh, in this lake if you can get on them. Again, I like to get right on the edge, uh, throw a little bit over and slowly reel it on to the different bed types. Uh, that way you can kind of double your coverage area if they're preferring one to the other. You know, you can kind of get them to to come on off the gravel and go on to the silt if it's laying right on the edge uh, in between the two. Um, as for the carp here, a lot of good stuff. I like the high vis uh, pop up here as well. That's darker, deeper water. Uh, so you want to keep that in mind too. You want to make sure they can see it. Uh, that's one I like to use here just because, like I said, the water's murky as you can see and uh, it does well it's easier for them to pick it out so you can kind of do a little bit better with that but that covers everything here for uh, setting up boxes uh, different tackle boxes for each lake i uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and i will be back next time with more thank you